Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to ASCA, where you, the audience, get to ask questions of somebody you may not be able to interact with on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, it's a place to grow, learn, understand for everyone. That's the glue. <laughs> I'm one of your hosts, Big Irish Jay. And I'm Kev on stage, and this is Erica Campbell, and it's Ask a Gospel Singer yes. with Erica Campbell. Clap for okay. her, studio audience. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank There's you. There's not many people in the audience today. <laughs> so the way it works, E, I call her E because I go to the church. California Worship yes. Center, stand up. We yeah. out here. Yeah. I've actually been going to church since the first Sunday. This is true. Uh, Easter... Must have been 2015. Yeah, hmm. at the but hotel. we haven't seen you in a, oh, man. a while. <laughs> wow, yeah. wow, in wow! A while. I mean, we pray for you. <laughs> we say that you're all over the world. <laughs> you know, we just tried to that talk over. Hey, okay, <laughs> yeah. cut it, Josh. Yeah. Cut that. Cut the audio. Off. <laughs> I've been traveling. I've been mm -hmm. traveling. So, um, uh, the way it works, me and Jay will ask you some questions that okay. we find interesting, and then we'll ask you the questions that the people of the world find interesting. Okay. So, first of all. I want to talk about shackles at first okay because shackles came out and at this time in my life gospel was there was mighty clouds of joy shirley caesar you know lana draper that type of stuff yes kirk was the only one who made any type of like like fun music yeah yeah when shackles came out they were playing in the club and church people were like again now there's two artists there's kirk and there's these mary mary and they're making music i don't think they said jesus i remember right. old ladies in our church i don't think they said jesus i think they right. mentioned him and our savior they don't say his name right but we were young we were like yeah. this is fun like yeah. music that we would listen to and it kind of got me back into gospel music because i was in high school at the time and i was like bro gospel trash like not trash but like <laughs> dang it wasn't translating to yeah. new people. There was yeah. nobody making like newer, like up. But weren't you into like the whinings or commission? Fred Hammond? No, no, no. I, okay, so what? the last fun album was um, man, this is before Ty started releasing music. Right, this is before Tone's Out the Box. After y'all, it was just like Hezzy. Maybe he made some fun music, but it was like it wasn't like that. You know yeah. what I mean? Like he had yeah. some uh, uh, BBJ. I think made some songs, but. I liked it, but it wasn't like I just got my first car. It wasn't like you didn't have nothing to bump. Everybody trying to you bump, bump. Yeah, DC yeah. talk. Bump the wine <laughs> the ba there's no bass in tomorrow. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. So, but you guys caught a lot of flack. We did. You have caught mm, a lot of flack in just my life. Pretty much. Yes. In they're my just life. like really? they're Eric Campbell. <laughs> She's wearing a white dress <laughs> <laughs> all the time. So, how do you deal with like what you do, just seeming to make church people mad a lot? I don't make pe people mad a lot. Church people. You know, I... um, <laughs> They be mad. Them older saints be like, Erica Campbell is smiling <laughs> again. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, my father uh, raised us doing outreach. So we were always okay. in a park with, you know, the prostitutes and yeah. gang members. And we were always trying to draw those people. Mm -hmm. So you learn to speak a language um, that is kind and that is humble and that yeah. is, you know, offering, you know, hey, this is possible for you too. It's yeah. not very exclusive. It's not... Right. Get right or get left. It's not yeah. that kind of gospel. That's how we came up. Yeah. Too. So I didn't come up with that kind of guy. Yeah, like we had yeah. a drug rehab. You oh know? really? Yeah. At the church? Oh yeah, at the oh, church. Oh dope, dope. So you know, we had a we'd have this quick story. We'd have twelve o'clock prayer, but you know, drug rehab. You have to keep them busy. So they would help clean up the church and do different things. Mm -hmm. So prayer was over at twelve. Yeah. It was twelve o'clock. So one of the ladies in the drug rehab started going, ha ha ha. Hey, 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 hey. And we still praying. Yeah, she's yeah, like, oh, yeah. We still praying. She was like, uh-uh, prayer over at 12. Hey, 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 hey. Like, <laughs> so, you know what I mean? Like, I've, yeah. I've learned to adjust to people who are not churchy. And I got always it. want to reach them. Because if we're trying to reach the lost, yes. mother so-and-so, you already got it. Yes. You know what I mean? You're, you and your all the church girls who were the... Jean skirts down to their it's ankles. That was me, my you know, mother. and kids. Like even yeah. Nikes were kind of sinful. Oh, you you would just do you what? Know, just Serve the do, Lord. Yeah. That's all you better just, just do. It do what? It. Yeah, what you mean? Yeah. So <laughs> you know, I I I I have to admit though, when we first started, me and Tina wanted to be more churchy. Really? Yeah. Mm. It was it was Pastor Campbell who would not. Baby Dub. It. Baby Dub. Pastor yeah. Baby Dub. <laughs> Pastor Baby Dub. So what you did know, he say? Like y'all, we're gonna cut through some of this stuff. Like no, we just started creating, and this is what we created. Got like it. we didn't intentionally say take God out. Like this is what we. I mean, well, shackles was for the Prince of Egypt. So really? it referenced. Yes, it was for the Prince of Egypt. We were supposed to do a song for them once we finished shackles, and people like Puff and Heavy D were paying attention. And Warren said we're going to give the Prince of Egypt another song, and we gave them a song called Let Go. And the choir on that is Ty Tribbett. That was the first time we no found out who way. he was. Yeah. So we got shackles. I love and, that and he literally, was like, hold on. We're going to keep this one. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. And then, you know, we we didn't 
Is that, I don't know. Oh, gosh. So. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we yeah. weren't something you're not sure about. Yeah, say, yeah, exactly. Say it, say yeah, it. <laughs> we weren't gospel size. So when we yeah. went to the label, mm-hmm. when we went to Columbia. They initially were like, "Oh, we can, gospel we can take size. these girls everywhere." You yeah, know what I mean? They were yeah, like, "Oh, uh-huh. they look good." So right. you know, it's it's a thing. It was it was oh heavy anointing. You know what I mean? I so, need me a big girl, <laughs> all soprano, big girl. Oh, you are crazy. That's how they, that's how but, music was for a long time yeah. in the choir. Yeah, yeah. So you know, every movie, every gospel scene, yes. it had to be a big girl. Yeah. You know what I mean? As if a, a slim chick don't love Jesus. Right, right. It's crazy. So <laughs> being signed. To a major label Mm -hmm. where our label mates was Bow Wow, Destiny's Child, Jessica Simpson. Right. You know what I mean? Gloria and Stefan. They're trying to get you on the radio with the rest of their people. Period. So we went overseas. The song was top five around the world. And all we wanted to know, all we wanted to do was sing about Jesus. That's it. You know what I mean? We were kind of brokenhearted because we didn't get invited to a bunch of church stuff for a long time. Really? Oh, yeah. And then there were churches like we heard of churches going, don't buy it. They didn't, I was Dang. like, who do you think we want to praise? We want to praise buy, Jesus. Buy Tupac's album. If you all you have to make a choice, you're going to send sin all the way. Don't get so, that lukewarm Mary Mary. You know, but when you get used to it, you just keep going. And as God yeah. gives you something, you go, okay, give me more strength and more wisdom to endure yeah. them. Let me still love them. And so mm-hmm. when I go and, you know, there's a lineup of everybody churchy and then me. Right. And then, you know, the young kids run to the front. You got some people side. Yes. Let you know, me still smile at them and that, do that what I exactly do. That's exactly how it was to do comedy in churches for a long time. Yeah. The, the, and it, it was like if the church mother or the pastor didn't laugh, oh, nobody, nobody laughed. laughed. They would be like, huh, is it, please, I really like that joke. <laughs> and if they didn't laugh, people wouldn't, they would not laugh. Wow. We had one show where um, church mother didn't like it. And she got up and walked out and we didn't get no laughs for the next 30 minutes. Wow. So we was up there like, man, you couldn't have just waited. Like it was, uh, but that's how the church. And why is. did you like, invite him? Yeah, yeah. You know, my co-host yeah. Griff is a comedian. He said he went to a church, and the introduction before he came on, she said, "Well, ain't nothing funny about Jesus." <laughs> oh my gosh! But I don't know what he gonna do. They done brought a comedian up here. His name is Gr- Gr- I don't know what his name is. Well, come on. He said he walked on crying, laughing. He said oh, it was the funniest thing. Nothing funny about thing. Jesus is the hardest introduction. Oh. So man, you can't you know follow it. funny? God made platypuses. Those are hilarious. Those are like, hilarious. Like, God was like, bro, I'm about to, I'm about to put a, a big tail and like, yeah. on a duck. And a funny mouth. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be hilarious. Right. He had, And that's the thing I always say. I'm a child of God. We're all children of God. We all, all have us. our gifts. I feel like I was born funny. I know Jay feels like that. What are we supposed to do if we're funny and we want to serve God? Right. It's I mean, funny to the me. Bible, there's laughter in the Bible. Isaac's name means laughter. Oh, that's a good one. I didn't know that. Yeah. All I ever say is laughter is a medicine. Yeah. And that's my go-to. That's in the Bible. <laughs> that's it. That's your only one. You've got to find that's more it. kids. Now I got, uh, who is it? Yeah. Isaac? Isaac. Uh, <laughs> Isaac. Yes. Isaac His name means laughter. Two yes. for two. Yeah. I find it interesting too when you were saying that uh, like you would reach out to gang members and yeah. prostitutes and stuff and... Uh, and you you didn't go at them like judging, right? Which is also like when we did these shows. When we first did these shows, it was a lot of it was uh, based on guests that Christians would never interact with. Like yes. we had Ask a Jehovah's Witness, we had Ask a Gay Black Man, and yeah. uh, hey, my God. and like Kev, like I don't catch any heat because Kev's like the face. You oh, know? So they, they gave you the, the blue. Kev wow. would, they were lighting me. Yeah, I really? mean, how, yes, they were so. Oh. Mad, so they were like, "How dare you talk?" And oh, you how dare me talk to him? That's what yes. I say. Who did Jesus talk to? That's, that's what he that's says. The same thing <laughs> Where in the Bible does it say Jesus was at eleven o'clock service every Sunday? That's what I. Oh, that's what he says. I'm gonna use that against you. We're at church. Where in the Bible did they say Jesus was at church on yeah, Sunday? Yeah, but he was fellowship. He created church. I'll be fellowship. Uh-huh. <laughs> look at, look at it. <laughs> I, you I, notice I, that tone yeah, check? Yeah, yeah. They went. Uh, yeah, I'll be That high inflection reads your line. But I use that like I tell people all the time. We are supposed to win people to Christ, yes. right? That is our job. How can I win someone to Christ if I, I cannot at least have them. a conversation Absolutely. with them? They're guests in my home. We got Kevin on stage studios. They're in my home. You know, like, and, and all these guests that the Christians get mad at me, they all say, man, you 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 win us with love. Yeah. You treat, people treat yeah. us so poorly. Yeah. If you treat us with love, it's a lot easier to have a conversation. Yeah. And the other part of that is when you do sins that we are okay with, I hate to use that term, yeah. but like my brother, yeah. I use him as an example all the time. He was out there. <laughs> prodigal son yeah i was tending to the sheep and reading the bible <laughs> i covered an anointing my brother was out there at the club having kids upon kids oh god oh yeah he was out there so when he came back to the church he came back at 
you know, church ends at one o'clock, he come at twelve forty five. And we love <laughs> on him, love on him, love on him. And twelve forty five became twelve thirty, became twelve, became eleven. It took him like three years of us loving on him before he started yeah. coming on time. Then he was the superintendent for Sunday school oh, over wow, this five that's year good. process. Yeah. But there was a gay girl that came in with her girlfriend and was smoking cigarettes outside. We beat her out the church in like three weeks. We were like, why you ain't saved? Come up to the altar. Why you ain't saved? Come up to the altar. And she was just like, all right, fam. I just, I, I can't. Cool. And I, I just don't with, want to do that to people. The Bible says, with loving kindness have yes. I drawn thee. It also says one must be wise right. to win souls. Right. So you don't go slinging blessed oil and telling <laughs> them that they're horrible. Right. Because the thing about people who don't believe, they feel like they're fine. Yes. You know what I mean? It's hard to convince somebody that they're wrong when they are perfectly fine with their life. You know that's what I mean? a fantastic point. Like if I didn't grow up going to church, I'm going, what you you do what on Sundays? Oh, that's cool. We go to the beach. Yeah. So you can't vilify them if their mom, their grandma, and everybody went. Yes. You have to present the information that makes them go, oh, that's interesting. I'd love to do that or try Absolutely. that. Absolutely. You because know? I think about that all the time. When I was a kid, we were PAW, mm -hmm. uh, Jesus only. If you're not say, if you don't, yes. you're not saying the exact way we were, we're, we're Church saying. of God in Christ. Yes. Yes. We're PAW. It's church beef. You, we beefed. Yeah, church I beef. I dated a culture girl <laughs> when I was in high school and my grandma was like, hmm. So really? just, oh, she was, it was like <laughs> Romeo and Juliet, Crips and Blood type stuff. And that was within the church. Yeah. So I remember asking my mom one day, I said, so what if I grew up in China and, and everybody around mm. is Buddhist and they all were Buddhist? Like, how do I know I'm wrong? She was yeah. like, it don't matter. Apostolic only. Like, she didn't really have no answer. Right. So it was just like, shut up and read the word. Like, I, I, I just. <laughs> give me an answer. But you nobody have to had give that an, answer. The Bible says give an answer for what you believe. Yes. I don't know exactly where it's fine. But the Bible does tell us <laughs> that we have we're supposed to be able to give an answer with gentleness mm -hmm. and with love and with kindness. Like it yes. specifically says that. I literally just read it. Where is it? Dang it. It's between mm. Genesis and Revelations for somewhere, sure. Somewhere, yes. It's oh, definitely absolutely. between uh, everything. It's somewhere in the that front Bible. And somewhere in the mats. <laughs> between the So yeah. what would you say I want to go with the the anger first. Okay. The the, the, the the two things that I feel like people got you on you the most for was a white dress mm -hmm. and I love God. Yes. Do you love God? Did you expect it from that song? Did you expect people to, to be so, did you expect the song to be so polarizing? Yes. You really did? I knew it. I knew it. Mm. I, it, if I can be honest. Oh, this oh, yeah. show is all is about honesty. Oh, yeah. So I heard I'm in love with the cocoa. And what? I was like, we have cocaine jingles like this is a <laughs> and we was like i'm like, in love with, with the cool yeah. cool. i was like oh yeah i said i'm a songwriter let me get in here let me offer something that changes what they say and make them repeat it over and over and i was like i love mm. god you don't love god what's wrong with you so not only are they saying it to someone else they're saying it to themselves yes so you can say it and then you start to begin to really think about the love of god yeah Do I love god does he love me how does he move in my life it mm -hmm. opens up you know you spiritually to fall in love with god and so i wanted people people to sing that warren did not want to do this song at all really no we had done help we have these beautiful yeah. songs i'm a fan I need you more Jesus and yeah he was like oh we did this beautiful body of work this song is going to blindside everything yeah and yeah. i was like yeah so now it's his turn to be uh, like you yeah. want to go church right. i was now, too worldly now you want to he go a, you know he a pastor now <laughs> <laughs> now, well, now you, you want you me to sing as a dear <laughs> <Pantithor>. <laughs> like so we did the song and it did exactly what we I always feel like with content, it should either be people love it or hate it. But if you're indifferent, then I haven't done my job. Mm. So right. at least I want you to to feel if you're gonna feel a way right. about yay, right. At least feel something. <laughs> feel something. And I was like, because there's a girl who like totally rebuked oh, you. Oh, I saw you and you did a video. And I can't She I, was so angry. Oh my. I love I love God. What is that? How dare <laughs> so you? Mad. She was so angry. And she was always in her car. Yeah, she was in her van of yes. anger. It was, it a, was van a van of anger. anger. And I, it was funny. To, you know, it's fun. I don't really get sad. The yeah. only comment that stung a little bit, I always say this comment is always because it's kind of funny. Yeah. When I came out with a little more Jesus, one of the first comments on <laughs> iTunes was, no, honey, you need a little more Tina. Because you're <laughs> oh, just the pretty one. You can't even man. sing. Oh. oh, yeah. That was like the, that was my Sometimes into, them comments get between the gloves. Because when you've been out as long as you have. <laughs> It was like, dude, dude, yeah. Dude, dude. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm gonna have to keep going past this one. Sometimes you know people mean? slip them through the gloves. You're like, yeah. oh snap, that yeah. actually stung. Yeah, that stung. So, so how did you release it, knowing that you were gonna get that backlash? I knew that that message. I knew that song had purpose. Yes. I knew it was gonna draw some young people yes. who don't sing. Jesus is on the yes. main line, you know, and they need something else. And it's that's slapped. Ex yeah, that's exactly what it did. Yes. Mamas, I had mama saying, "Thank you so much," because I was trying to get my kid into the church at least when they get in the car on the way to school hey put on erica campbell right 
right. I'm right. cool with being that option. Absolutely. You know what I mean? You need, I think like, I feel like gospel music is just like hip hop or jazz. You should have the wide range of yeah. people. You know, it's okay to, you know, listen to Coltrane this day and Charlie Parker yeah, yeah, or whatever. Yeah. And some days you just like, okay, Winans yeah. and John P. Key's early stuff. Like I need straight, yeah, yeah. like Fred church, Hammond church. is straight I need scripture, CC. scripture, scripture. Yeah. But then when you're like about to have a barbecue, but you ain't trying to play like the radio, you need that option as yeah. well. And, and I feel like so gospel should now. be that yeah. type of, uh, and you want guitar gospel, you got Jonathan McReynolds, you got Travis yeah. Green, KJ Scribbs, yes. you know. Uh, Jabari Johnson, like yes, I like guitar yes. gospel too. So I got I guitar gospel. Yeah, they're like, oh, we're acoustic brothers in the Lord. No, I, I I had a person call it pretty Jesus music. They all want to call him <laughs> Jesus hair. Oh, I'm so pretty. I love him so much. He so blessed pretty. my feet and I wash his feet. Pretty Jesus, let me comb your hair. I will take you with me everywhere. <laughs> like it's pretty Jesus music. <laughs> Now, when you as an artist, so you you're putting out music that uh, is gospel. Yes. So the assumption is up front, like I'm putting this out for my people that have the same beliefs as me. That yeah. you know, and ideally, you're like they're gonna love it. Yeah, I always think like, oh, they're gonna they gonna get it. I'm saying I love God. Right. Like, it's not ambiguous. Right. And then and then the flip side of that, do you as you're putting that out, are you do you have the thought like, oh, somebody that's not a Christian or not into gospel, they maybe not feel this, but I still got my crew, right? Mm -hmm. And then if they don't like it, are you just like, well, what am I doing? If like, if I don't have my nah. own people, you don't, nah. you're just, all right. If God gave it to me and I know I didn't give it to myself, if it's not contrived, if I wasn't looking at the charts and paying attention to some mm -hmm. other artist, if, mm -hmm. if I know this is something, cause I'll, I'll let us thought, sit with me if I write right. a song like I'll, okay if it comes back and back again I'm going okay mm -hmm. this is the Holy Spirit leading me to write this song right. and so I write it and it is for someone I don't know who that someone uh, right, is right, right. and it won't be for somebody because people we have preferences you yes. know what I mean we have different churches because people worship right. different ways yes. they like different styles of music and that's yes. okay you know everybody won't like me and I'm totally okay with that I yeah. think that is the first step to being yeah. creative just yeah. accept that everybody, everybody won't like you. you. It makes it a lot oh, easier yeah. Yeah. because comedy is subjective, music is subjective, yeah. and you can make it not even the that way you... people preach. Everybody doesn't like the way every people. Yes. I've heard people come to Cali worship and go, "I'm so glad you guys don't go." Aha. But then we, you know, mm -hmm. if we ever get really churchy, people's going, "Oh, you're not today." No, we had good church. church. No, 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 like, good, good. You well, ain't church. Yeah, you had good, good That's church. That's the church today. I grew up on. Yeah. So and I you think know. sometimes you grow. Sometimes, like I grew up on that type of preaching. Yeah. And then as you age, you want something different. And yeah. that, as long as you are loving God and worshiping hey, in man. your way, yeah. Different things, different strokes for different folks. Absolutely. Mm. So Absolutely. before we move on to the people's questions. You, you personally, and you and Tina's clothing has always been like a thing. Oh, what, what do you think it is that gets people in an uproar? There's still a lot of church people who think pants are sinful. That if they come to Heaven's Gate in pants, yeah. that there will be an angel that'll take them in the back and put a robe on them. Damn. They still think that yeah. my clothes are an indication of my heart. Those, right. there are some old church people who are the meanest I've mm. ever seen. They're never happy. They're mm -hmm. not, you know what I mean? It, like, ain't nothing funny ain't about Jesus. Ain't nothing <laughs> funny about Jesus. And I just, I don't get it. And I've met some of the sweetest, God-loving people with tattoos and yes, piercings. Yes. You know what I mean? We would go out and some of the homeless people, you know, the conditions of how they got there would be different, but you could tell that they loved God. They just got lost. Right, You know what right, I mean? I right. can't, if I can't judge them and they're smelling like whatever they're smelling yeah. like, how can you judge somebody that comes in here mm. Yes. With with a tight skirt or, you know, yeah. maybe that's all she has. Yes. You know, my sister-in-law was singing with um, Kanye. She was touring and she mm -hmm. just wanted to go to church. So she went to a church in New York. She had some sweats on because it was cold. It was winter yeah. time. Yeah. She had Uggs on and the person like cracked the door, <laughs> looked her up and down. She was like, he said, you ain't dressed right. She was like, but I want to didn't let her in? Dinner. She was like, I haven't been to church in a long, I just want to come in. Hold on. Mm -mm. What? She can't come in here dressed like and did not let her. In. She was so heartbroken. And, and she, she grew up already, in she church. Grew up, well, she had already gone through her about like, is God real? I don't know about this. Do I really want it? You know, she had gone through all of that. Yeah. So your first time trying to come back to church and you get rebuked because oh. of what you have on. It's That's the awful. most. You expect that uh, at the club. Like, nah, dress clothes. Strictly enforced. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, not at church. Yeah, like, like, did Jesus have Jordans on? With, you know, like, probably. God. No. I mean, <laughs> did Jesus wear Stacy Adams? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did he have a shiny jacket? Hard, that yeah. came Hard down? bottoms only. Oh, God. No. 
That's a good point. So I mean, I feel like we clothes are are minimal to me. At their, you know, yes, you, you should be mindful. You don't want to be a distraction, right? Right. You know, and there's been times when I started the tour and I was skinny, and then mm-hmm. by the end of the tour I was fatter because you know you eat pizza and chicken wings after yes. after yes. you eat, and, and so then my every, my tour every, clothes every got a little tighter, yeah. and so I was like, sorry guys, I really wasn't this fat, and I know <laughs> it looks like something intentional, so it would be that kind of thing. <laughs> You know, I just started to be smarter about my clothes. Right. And, you know, I try to be mindful. Right. But, I, you know, I think that God made beautiful um, women with curves. And I don't think sexuality is a sin. I think we've, yeah. I think God created it and Satan perverted it. And we said, okay, you can have it. Yes. You know what I mean? I think that. We talk about that in our podcast. Yeah. There's such a stigma with sex in the church. But children's church it's is packed. packed. Children oh, church, right. there right. kids everywhere, and it every church got a go. problem with people dipping and slipping. Oh, so, and we was doing that when I was coming up. Not me, I was saved, amen. And sanctified. But <laughs> skirts or not, if you finna have sex, it don't matter Doesn't what you. Were, yeah. Oh yes, yes. In the back of the church, people were doing it, not me. Oh no, not me. <laughs> so, the, uh, actually, interestingly, a lot of people ask if you weren't a gospel singer, what would you be doing? I don't know. All, all I know is this: I really? never had a plan B. That's no. so. If it didn't I work, I did hair. And hair was only a means to an end. I was doing yeah, hair yeah, yeah. until I became a singer. I dreamed of being a singer. I would be in choir rehearsal and close my eyes and open my eyes, and people would be worshiping. And I was like, I want to do that for the rest of my life. I had dr- uh, my dreams were always a big stage with thousands of people worshiping Jesus mm. with me from the beginning. So I. So never, do you feel like you willed yourself to that? I didn't will myself. I just followed God's will for my life. That's when good. I didn't know what it was, when yeah. I got out of high school, I was like, okay, well. I don't think you can go to school for singing. I didn't know. Yeah, you know, yeah, I didn't, yeah, yeah. I didn't really rock with the cal- college counselors. I probably right. would. <laughs> but I was like, I'll go to school for business or something. I don't know, I guess. And and I was fine with singing at church because my church choir was a big deal in L.A. Yes. We recorded. And yeah. So I was like, I'm an evangelistic mass choir. Right. Evangelistic Church of God in Christ. Mac, what are you right. talking about? I'm right. professional. <laughs> we out here. Yeah. Guys. So my, um, my cousin said, you know, if you could go to school for something, what would it be? I was like, music. And so I went for music. And so I started studying. And as I started studying, I got the opportunity to sing with stage plays, then to sing Mm. background. And it just evolved from there. So I was like, do I go to school for singing or do I sing? So what what point in your career did you realize, like, oh, my gosh, I've achieved what I dreamt of? There was an event called the Comeback of Jesus. It was in Holland. It was an arena that sat 70,000. And... Um, they were all around the stage, like as if it was a big rock concert, and they was going, Jesus, Jesus. And they just called Mary Mary, yeah. and the audience started screaming, and I broke down crying in the back. Really? Oh, wow. I was like, you did it. You kept your oh, word to me. Snap. I were, got chills. You were faithful, and I was able to do this, and I didn't have to take my clothes on. I didn't have to right. compromise. I didn't have to sign to some raggedy. Right. Like, you know, I, it, was, it was the way it happened, the way God showed it to me. That's amazing. 70,000 so, people. 70,000. It was called the comeback music. of Jesus. Okay. This was in 2001, 2002. So performing, like, I mean, I'm sure you've done like two, 3,000 seaters. Yeah. Right? Me? Yeah. Yeah. Well, not often. Oh, well, whatever, you've done them. Cool. But, yeah, yeah. So they talk I about it. I want you to put it like, oh, oh two, like, three thousand? Yes. We get it, Kev. Once or twice. I mean, we are in <laughs> Kev on stage studios. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, it's a very small room, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, studio nonetheless. Yeah, studio A is right yeah, here. Yeah. Yes. This is my Studio uh, A Bezos. through Z is right here. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I think about? And I'm going to let you answer yeah. your question. Those pictures of like uh, Steve Jobs and oh, Jeff yeah. Bezos yeah. in their the garage. garage. Dude. This is the one where they're going to be like, Kev yeah. started this right yes. here. And I'm going to be like, yeah, man, Studio this A. This going to be a historical site. Yes. I want to keep it like the Jackson's house. Don't nobody live there. I've gone to that house. Have you? taking pictures in front of it absolutely hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and i thought you were saved <laughs> oh, your question Jay. no so i was gonna say as a comic when you do like two three thousand seater they talk about the wave like you have to give a joke you give a joke and then you can hear the laughter oh, going wow. and then come back forward yeah yeah with singing and like and performing mm-hmm. with music do you have that same thing like yes. really it's when they sing back to you really the best feeling ever mm. that while they're singing back to you you remember writing the song you remember oh, what wow. you thought you remember recording and hoping that they would like it you remember that all of that yeah, and it's yeah. like it's, it's like i could almost cry right now thinking about it because i wanted it so bad and i was like man i want to rep jesus like in a big way you know what yeah. i mean and i don't want it to be well let's bring the little raggedy gospel singer you know what i mean yeah, i yeah. want to i want it to <laughs> be excellent you know yeah, yeah you know yeah. what i'm saying pray for me as i attempt to sing <laughs> what's the word like just <laughs> raggedy just you know and i think that's interesting because you you and tina and you solo a lot of times gospel concerts they weren't like interesting 
in that way. We just would sing. You would just sing at us and always was worship. Well, see, like, I was saved, so I enjoyed them all. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't know about you, huh? But you and Tina had concerts. dance moves and, okay. and like choreography and like, were people like resistant to that type of, you know, like Kirk was dancing and stuff. Yeah, yeah. But, but you, you know, it was just different. For women, like, Cece was like, Say Jesus. I, she's just, Jesus' best friend. She for is sure. And she is a sweet person. She's as advertised. Absolutely. I met her one when time, I was her? like, I don't feel like you could be any nicer. <laughs> to be so famous nice. your whole life and your family's famous and she was super humble yeah. and stuff like that. But you guys were like fun. Yeah. Your shows were fun, your music yeah. was fun. Did you feel any like back not backlash, but um pushback when you perform your shows or were people coming there your, they're your fans it depended on who we were on the concert with so okay. we did something called um, Sisters in the Spirit it mm-hmm. was um, it was one season Sis. was Yolanda Adams <laughs> Shirley Caesar and Virtue and Mary Mary we mm-hmm. so and yeah. then y'all come out and, and just then we like come out and we had <laughs> Black leather studded <laughs> pants, skinny strap. You could see some of the people just like. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know, man. Maybe we could have made some different choices, right. but I don't. You know, I don't regret it. I think the many young people that I that yes. pull me to the side and go, "Thank you." Yes, you hmm. just let me know that I could be myself, man, living and loving God. Incredible like, album. <laughs> What? <laughs> What's funny is that's the album we didn't like. That's the album we were like, it's like not. <laughs> what? Y'all didn't like Incredible? We did, but it wasn't thankful. And the oh. label, after six weeks in, the label was like, well, it's not Shackles. Let's start working on a new record. Warren went off on them because they were, Warren was like, no, we're going to work this record. We're going to sing it. We're going to go. And- oh, I had my first, y'all were a lot of my first, like, experiences being a young man Mm -hmm. that was like if if my boys were not saved they'd be like yo what is this it slaps cuz i'll be like really oh my god the incredible (laughs) album i've been so i was like this is great (laughs) it was like like i'm a fan for real like i'm calmer with you now because i know you more but when i first met you i was like oh my god that's erica that's erica that's erica that's erica Erica." (laughs) so how do you feel this is a celebrity celebrity sorry jay just listen Uh, you want me to leave (laughs) How do you deal? I'm gonna tell you. I'll, I'll, I'll answer first. Okay. I don't mind taking pictures with people. Right. I don't mind it. I I prefer to be ready. The only mm-hmm. thing that's hard is like red eye. They catch you in the airport and you're not really aware of where you are. Yeah. But what I don't like is the. Ooh. Uh, I I just I would rather you just. Ask me. It is so weird for okay. you to see someone out of the corner of your eye like recording you like right how do you deal with that because i know you're like way more famous than me and way more famous than jay i wave uh, at him i wave at you? him yeah so you catch and him i see my go they go oh sorry i wasn't even doing I people have lied to my face i wasn't even uh i wasn't even doing nothing yeah, but i, I might have i've might have done that a time or two when someone looked funny i i have to admit. really so i can't even get mad yes <laughs> there was this guy with the best haircut I've ever seen in my life in the airport and a <laughs> white suit with awesome white shoes and, you had a and I needed a picture with him so I was like uh-huh. excuse me sir you look just like my uncle can I take a that's picture that's what with I you? do you look like my cousin and they, he took a picture and I I never posted it because it wasn't the social media but I yeah. giggled inside a lot from that picture that's I'm sorry hilarious. sir hilarious Jay what does that long. happen does it never happens to you I'm usually Ooh. the guy with the camera going like this <laughs> Like, I wonder if Kev's going to see this. <laughs> and then I sell the picture of you on eBay. Kev. Yes, make uh, money. Uh, no, I don't, it comes with the territory. I know. Does. Like, when I'm landing and I know I may see somebody in there, I try to wake up, like, maybe 10 minutes or 15 minutes before the flight lands. I, oh, I'm like, this smart. is a part of the job. So One time, I can't walk off with an attitude. Like, somebody coming to me, I'm like, you saved my life. I'm yeah. like, I'm sleeping. I, you can't do that. <laughs> you know? Yeah. You know what I mean? And some people do. You know, this is my own time. Oh, if you sing "Will You Make It," my life is not my own. That's very you are true. always a minister of the gospel. Mm. So I, you be aware. One other thing I don't like, Ian. I just want to. This. This is. I don't know. Are we? Just, is this me. just for you to vent? No. Yes. <laughs> He's one like, time I, I fell asleep on the plane. Right. Just like everybody else. You know, yeah. hoodie on. Yeah. I wake up. Someone's taking a picture of me. Posted on Twitter. Ah, caught Kev sleeping on the plane. <laughs> I was like, fam. You're a comedian, so you're, uh, you're like, you come for it. people. But yeah, I was like, is there no? That is true. Get people on a regular basis. Uh, That's a good point. Yeah, I love I it. Earned that. I yes, love it. it. Yeah. Okay. I wish I didn't answer that question. Delete it. John. <laughs> well, there really wasn't a question there, but uh, I will ask a question. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Too. Uh, uh, nobody that you've performed with. So anybody you wish you could sing with, dead or alive. Ideally, if you could have sing or sang with anybody, hmm. dead or alive, who would it be? And second part, 
If it, it, not gospel, what would be another music genre you would sing if it wasn't gospel? So I'll do that one first. Okay. If, it, if I did not sing gospel, I would definitely be singing like um, classical American standard. Mm. Like I'd definitely be singing that. Really type of interesting. Music. Like Barbara Streisand, Tony Bennett. Oh wow! You like them? I love it. Like my daughter does too. We listen to it all day long. Krista. Oh yeah, Tony, Tony Bennett. Bennett. Tony oh, Bennett. Tony Bennett's that is amazing. American as you can yeah. get. Yeah, and he's still performing. Oh yeah, right, Barbara. You have to pay a thousand dollars or twenty five hundred dollars for a Barbara Streisand ticket. She Are you is kidding me? Out here. Oh, out here <laughs> singing in these streets. That's the one thing about being Call a singer. Call me Barbara. I, I would sing <laughs> yeah. Barbara. I would, I would oh. sing. So we did um, We Are the World, the, the second one for mm. Haiti, 25 years. And I was literally, if you look at the video, it's me. Then the row in front, it's like Tony Bennett and Barbara Streisand. And when oh, I'm telling wow. Lauren, I'm freaking out. He's like, did you say hi? I was like, I can't. I can't oh. <laughs> say anything. Like, I'm surrounded by. I would have never guessed Barbara Streisand. Oh. Never. I love her phrasing. I love her. Mm. Man, she's awesome. Really? Yes. Barbara Streisand. Yes, crazy. Kev. What's wrong with I Barbara just am and surprised. Tony? He, it's got a little yeah, thing. Yeah. It's got some on it, right? <laughs> crazy. It's a little racist, Kev. I mean, she yeah. know. I love Thank her. Thank you. Just, I'm little, glad you said it. I can't. Uh, <laughs> Kev. We're going to have Barbara come to the church and oh let you gosh, introduce her. I would go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> She's been famous forever, too. Forever. So, uh, a lot of people ask a version of this. What was your experience putting your life on display on TV? Um, you know, when you grow up in church, your life's already on display. There was just no cameras. I grew up that in a, the good. Atkins family was a family that everybody knew. They knew yeah. we got whoopings. <laughs> they knew that our parents didn't play that. So you right. couldn't say smart stuff. It was going to get back to your mama. Like yeah. if we were out and our parents were gone and we were supposed to be in the house, Sister Johnson was our neighbor. I'm going to tell your mama. So <laughs> people been watching me my whole life. <laughs> right, right. So I was already used to that. And then, you know, people literally prophesied to me, your life is going to be out front from an early really? age. I didn't know that meant reality. Yeah, yeah, I thought yeah, I was yeah. going to be an actress. I thought I was right. going to be like Angela Bassett. <laughs> Nope. Um, <laughs> so I, I always accepted that. I feel like it's an honor and a privilege because mm -hmm. there are a lot of people who want to be here. Yeah. But you have, to just, you have to ask yourself, why do I want to be here? Yes. Mm. I figure if I can be a light, if the way I deal with my husband or my sister or my ministry mm -hmm. can encourage somebody or go, oh, I never thought of it that way, yeah. then to God be the glory. And I feel like he's going to protect me. I don't have mm -hmm. to be afraid of any reality show curse. The devil is a lie. The devil you know he I mean? is a lie. Huh? The devil don't have that much power. Yeah, like that. I don't know a man that has so much power as God. You didn't think it was going to come out like that. Did I see uh -huh. I see the shockness in your face. We're going on the road, uh, Mary, Mary, and Kev. <laughs> or, oh, God. Then she, next, she's going to be like, hey, I got a joke for you. <laughs> right, absolutely. You singing, I'm telling jokes. I, I, I actually enjoy your singing immensely. Liz. Oh, on no. your video, I enjoy the singing. Erica <laughs> likes my singing. <laughs> the the smooth runs. Oh, they nobody dance. will yes. ever. Hear, they'll never stop me from singing. <laughs> I actually thought about t taking voice lessons. <clears throat> Please do it. <laughs> yes. Please. <laughs> Thank you. Please add that to your set. Sing more. We like it. Uh, ah, I'm oh going to watch it three years. I'm going to come out with it. <laughs> Sorry, Erica Melissa. Erica says she likes my the singing. The singing is... is <laughs> Erica Campbell of Mary Mary fame. You can't tell me nothing. Please don't feed the birds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. What's, uh, what's the hardest thing about singing live? Oh, God. <laughs> um, making sure that you are, you know, in, in top notch health mm. because it requires so much. You know, I was used to singing with Tina, so I could lean on her a lot. Uh, if I needed to catch my breath, or yeah. you answer this, but it's all you. Yes. And then, you know, I'm trying to come behind Mary Mae. So I set up my performance like, OK, we want this and this ministry moment. Then we're going to do this and it's right. big. And, and I got a lot of singing and jumping and running. And I'd be like, <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> Like, so for me, it's that. Right. And, you know, some performances, some ministry moments are great and God is there. And sometimes it's like, God, did you come with it? Was I supposed to come here? Like, yeah, yeah. You know, and they're just like, that's good. <laughs> uh -huh. Who's coming up next? <laughs> With the you know what I mean? with yeah. that, what's what's uh, some tricks you have? You have let's say Friday, you have a you have a huge performance, right? Yes. Monday, you wake up. Oh, I got a oh, tickle God. in my throat. And which I mean, as comics, we get that too. Or yeah. you're losing your voice. So, what are the tricks you do to immediately get that? 
Uh, there's no, you know, once your body needs rest, there's no, you can't trick it into mm. doing anything. I do like drink a lot of green teas and stuff, so that'll help me. I have a vocal coach, so I learn how to talk in certain, so like, because I, I naturally have a heavy voice, mm -hmm. so I'm mm. usually like talking down here. This is very bad for your vocal cords. So I have to talk a little higher in a higher Interesting. register. Interesting. So you have to yeah. adjust your average speaking voice so yes, you can you be have able to, to sing. So Michael Jackson was doing that on purpose. <laughs> wow. Oh. I've heard his voice was super deep, like yeah. on a regular basis. Yeah. So you have to talk in a higher level lighter place or your cords are like doing this yeah right? yeah 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 so then when you sing they don't have the flexibility so you have to drink a lot of water mm -hmm. and, you know of course i do ginger and honey and lemon i have a humidifier and a diffuser and i believe in oils and stuff like wow. that. wow so, yeah so, so, it's a whole so thing. from now on i'll just be like hey man <laughs> don't do it <laughs> hey man don't what's do going it. on <laughs> don't do it so me and Jake <laughs> always talk about this as comics we worry that we're going to run out of material like yes. new material to write and yes. am i going to be funny yes. do you ever worry if you're going to run out of like new songs to write and new music but the thing is once people list she living her best life y'all y'all want to come in and talk <laughs> <laughs> y'all over there playing spades <laughs> and now, <laughs> what's up now Warren? no listen i got the big joker <laughs> okay go ahead do you, we're not editing that yeah, out yeah we don't edit anything. We keep nope. it at, oh. nah, that we is keep 100 funny so do you ever worry that you're gonna run out of new music to write or your or your new stuff is not gonna be as good as your old stuff um I'm, I'm quite confident. Uh, what I do when I get a new song, instead of using the song that's a hit to close, I close with a new song. And I really? make you love it. Yeah. Because Jay, Jay actually made something funny. So I always say it's easier for a singer because if I like your song, hmm. I'll always like it. But as a comic, nobody want to hear your old jokes. And Jay had a good point. He was like, but if you're a singer, nobody wants to hear your new But no. But your new music, people are like, right. nah, I want yeah. the old so you stuff. So you have to... There, and there's ways to do it to make them fall in love they have to understand the song and yeah. if they see the story and see how it unfolds you know what I mean but sometimes you see the story and you still don't like the song so you just go to the next song Wow. Yeah. and there's always an old song I can't lose singing Shackles or Yesterday never 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 really no. so that's basically your get out of jail free card now well you know what and now <laughs> I have I love God and a little more yes. Jesus yes you know what I mean and you know even help people really um, love that song And but you know it's, it's about connecting with the people it's it's the music, mm -hmm. you know, but it's the ministry. Yes. It's the it's the talking to them about where they are. It's like they feel like I just had a moment with Erica. Yeah. When I first started, because I didn't have a lot of music, I would I would sit down and I would talk and I would answer questions and some, sometimes I would sing in between. Mm -hmm. So that I have a person on keyboard just so they could find out who I, who are you. We only know you with Tina. Where's the yeah. red? Man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. like even when I do sing Mary Mary, I that's my joke. Like I know y'all looking for Tina. She's not here. <laughs> Any redheads available? Just because yeah. just for everybody who needs. Mary Mary, an like, available redhead in the audience. <laughs> we'll do. So, come red on. Beard. Do you know Tina's parts? I no, need you to sing. I, what you saying? I don't know. Come Tina on, please. Turner? I don't, that's all I got. Tina don't even know who I, I am. Know. Kev, the guy doesn't don't, even know me. That's why it's so funny because Jay's oh, just like, he has no idea. And you are? He listens to Leonard Skinner and like, oh. Um, Wait, what? <laughs> I used to be in basic brothers and sisters in Christ. You Maranatha know he grew church. up in a, a black on. church in you know. Portland, Oregon. Really? Yes. It's been a long time. Though. The name of the group was Basic. No, so we had a our Christian group or whatever was Basic, and it was brothers and sisters in Christ. I was probably the only non-brother. Um, and, uh, and, uh, uh, Chris, so, you know, are you just gonna have a whole selfie session? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we would do like you know. Uh, Saturday nights we'd go bowling instead of you yeah, know yeah, going yeah. out drinking and I was probably 21 22 ish at, at the yeah. time and then uh, yeah I went to Maranatha Church and that's again, so cool. it was a long time ago but Man. you know it was uh, church groups as a teen like early 20s oh is crucial gosh, I had the best friends we hung out on yes. weekends we held each other accountable yes. like you know the girls would ask um, are you still on the island what's is the Virgin Islands <laughs> Oh, hilarious. Sis, I know you got a boyfriend. Y'all was hanging out. Are you still on the island? That's hilarious. Uh, oh, man. Like, no, I'm good. I mean, I was tempted, but we good. Like, but yeah. we were. I had a I layover there. Funny. No, but we prayed for each other. I remember when I first uh, started uh, singing background, the, my first artist mm. that I sang for was Brandy. Brandy, mm. like really? she was, wow. you know, a, a teenager. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? yeah. Was, I want to be down. I want to be area? down. Yeah. yeah, that was that version of Brandy. So my friends, we we're churchy. Secular music was still a sin in our lives at that mm -hmm. time. So I had about four friends to come over in tears, crying and praying that yeah. I'm covered and protected. They didn't want anybody to put anything in my drink. <laughs> they didn't want sin uh. to get on me. <laughs> Like they were ah, like, are you, sure? got on me. <laughs> are you sure? Are you sure? How was ah, that sin. being super churchy and then singing for Brandy? Um. 
I was like, it's music. She's a young girl, so she's out with her family. Yeah. And mm. my pastor gave me the go ahead. Really? Oh. Told you, pastor Charles E. Lawless of the Evangelistic Church of God in Christ. <laughs> He said, yeah, and when you finish, just come back. Now, when I came back, I got eye rolls from a lot of the oh, missionaries. I bet, and, yeah. I want you to be but down just, with Jesus. Right. Amen. Uh, huh? Sitting up in the upper room. Amen. <laughs> 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 but, you know, so from early on, I I, I was never afraid of, of doing what other people deemed would get you in trouble. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Who, ahead, Jay. who would you put on your uh, Mount Rushmore gospel singers? Ooh. Good question. Good one. The list is too long. You're getting a lot of um, I would put Daryl Coley. <laughs> <laughs> Does not get talked about enough. Hmm. Oh God, love his. Voice. I love it. When but Sunday Nessa comes, oh, when the when the music stops, uh, yes, when the band the... goes home, I'm all alone. Sing, oh. sing, yeah. Love Daryl. <laughs> love so him. Definitely Daryl. Um, Vanessa Bell Armstrong. Hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> um. I want to say the wine is, but that's four guys. So you do you just say mm. Marvin? Like it's it's the collective, but it's Marvin. I guess you, you could put that. That could be like smaller heads. Yeah, one yeah, head. One. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um. And oh gosh, I love so many. I love commission. But mm. then there's Yolanda Adams, who I like. I stalked her basically. Yes. Uh, I would, she was. I followed her around Los Angeles. Throw them both up there. So <laughs> big when I was a kid. Oh Through god. The storm. Oh God! I wrote a song for her, and I was, and I met her. Mm -hmm. I sang background for her at one of her concerts at Magic Mountain, Six Flags in L.A. <laughs> and I was like, something. Was I was going, give her, give her the song, give her the song, and I never gave her the song. And the song was called Melodies in My Heart. Her mm. next record was called More Than a Melody. Uh -huh. See, and I that was, was like, the unction oh, of the Holy Ghost. I never he did it. I mean, pushing. but you know, but I was able to write on her Mountain High Valley Low album, so that really? was the one that won a Grammy. Yeah, the first two songs, yeah, and. Um, it's been time for change. Me and Tina wrote that. That's us on the background. Speaking of Grammys, yes. what was that like? Because oh. I know you won Sellers and Doves, yes. but the Grammy is is the cream. I mean, Sellers and Doves are great. Yes. Love them. Love you we guys. We love you guys. Love Absolutely. Them. But the Grammy is the creme de la creme of music, and mm -hmm. that's all music. So what was that like to win your first Grammy? Emotional, overwhelming. And the first one, I literally just saw the footage because we did a... Um, uh, where do you keep your Grammys is special. We did with the Grammys mm -hmm. is going to be up on, on the internet shortly. And they showed me the first. Uh, you had one. never seen I'd it? I had never seen it. I was there. Oh. And, you know, they didn't, oh. they don't air the gospel awards. Yeah, yeah, no. They don't, <laughs> right. they don't air us. <laughs> so you just don't. have to tell people about it. They still don't. Well, they do online mm. now. Oh, okay, okay. Online. But um, me and Tina and Warren were just kids, man. I was 29. Damn. 29 Damn, and i remember 29? running up to the stage Shoot, i would be so arrogant no Grammy and the category was camp. it was hezekiah walker it was fred hammond purpose oh, de by design mm. you beat fred with purpose i don't know how that happened <laughs> and, that it was, album and it was flawless. bb and cc with solo records so we were just like oh this i mean you know we're in company with great that's with like Nate. lebron beating golden state like yeah. that those were Purpose by Design is absolutely. one of it's Fred's still one of best my albums absolutely still it, one of I, my say, I told Melissa I love her to that album really yeah and that's as church as you can get like, <laughs> I think it was Thank You Lord was playing in the church van on a, on a drive to Portland so you were listening like, to Fred Hammond yes. and felt inclined to I tell I said you know what girl I don't know how to say this <laughs> Fred Hammond helps you Fred Hammond gave not Keith the Sweat word. nope oh, not Usher hilarious. Fred Hammond by design. I was like I love you girl Hilarious. I love you. Do that you love is me? funny. What's wrong with you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how churchy we were. Oh, that God. was my R and B. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when Warren first met me, he if he wanted to see me, he had to come to church. I was really? always at a midnight musical. Oh yeah. I oh my god. That was I our didn't. club. Oh, for a midnight musical? That was our club. We saw amen. everybody from all the churches in the Who city. Who's gonna be up there? Who are all gonna be right. up there? Now there was always also the parking lot ministry. Yeah, amen. With the hookups. Yes. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. For sure. <laughs> and then once I remember like I was little so many years. So yeah, it was yeah, like, yeah. oh, little Erica. And then I grew up. Yeah. And then it was like me and Tina and my older sister Malia and then my yeah. elite sister Lisa and Google and we walk in and people was like who is that? They're going to Mackin's girl. Right, it was that. And then it was that for some years. So that was always fun. But we were like, we were like the untouchables. I don't, we don't have, I don't have stories throughout LA. We wasn't, that we was saved. You yeah. come to church with me. Yeah. You can come over and pray. My, and my dad, when he would meet people, would go, Do, can you speak in tongues? Do you have the Holy Ghost? Hold on. Let me uh. hear you speak. Let me hear you speak? For sure. On command? Yes. To date your daughter? Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> What? Oh, oh yes, man. Eddie that's Atkins a, played no game. That's the I, I, that's <laughs> tough. Let me speak. Hot did it in Not good enough. Not good enough. <laughs>
She can't go to Denny's with you. No. Wow. I'd, I'd be like, can you just have like a shotgun and <laughs> <That's> just st- <laughs> stand there with that? Yeah. I'm, I'm more comfortable with Let that. Let me hear you pray, son. Do you know how to call on the name of the wow. Lord? Wow. That is saved for yeah. real. Yeah, Dang. absolutely. That's, that's okay. So we're going to ask you some questions that are interesting. Okay. Uh-oh, I'm nervous. Why you scream so much? You <laughs> I was not going to ask that. I was like, scream. I, don't, I, thought, I, I think scream. they might have thought Tina because Tina is a belter. Yeah. Like, are you ever intimidated by her? Because sure. I think you guys have different voices and that's why I think you work well together. Yeah, absolutely. But black people, we tend to like stick your head back. I don't ah! scream like that. Like, no. I, I, I want to. I wish I could. Mm-hmm. Like, I'll be watching like Karen Clark and Kiki. I was like, yeah. man, I wish I could. Leandria? Yes. I can't, I can't, you know what I mean? Are you oh, ever I'm singing Tina easy. Hits the Nose and you're like, this girl is a beast. I'll come behind her with something else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm that she hits the nose, she's a power, and I'll hit you with a colorful note in yeah. between that you didn't like. Ooh. Uh, I didn't expect that's that. That's why I think, because if and you so guys both sing like her or both sing like you, you'd be like, ah, too much. It's, it's too much. Yeah. It's too much. That's so when I first went solo, Warren, the first thing he said was like, I don't know what you sound like by yourself. I was offended. What? Oh. He was like, I'm so used to, I don't know that people want to hear you by yourself. He oh said that my. back to back? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> back oh, to back? Those are too heavy. Oh. Heavy oh, he's heavy no statements. Joke. He's no joke. Well, we know how to separate business from. Mm. How do y'all. He's quite offensive. I, he's quite that's, offensive. <laughs> that sucks. Sing that again. Did you mean person? to sing that? Like, I'm oh. in the booth. Yeah. And, and I you were in the something. booth? What did he say? No, no, no. This is another oh, time. Oh, got it, got it, got it. There's got it. Oh, I have many stories. Many stories. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Many stories, Warren Campbell. Yeah, and I was in the booth singing. He was like, You did that run a million times. Do something else. So I have to find some. And then you just go like this. Remember this? The Grammy? <laughs> <laughs> and he'll tell me that was years ago. Oh, what do you got man. now? Oh. Yeah. How do you even separate Warren the husband from Warren the producer? I would not be as successful as I am without him being that tough on me. So I can't be a wimp. My dad was real tough on me. Like we, yeah. He was very sarcastic. Like We had a bunch of girls. So if you drop something, he wouldn't go, oh, my daughter. He'd go, nice moves, Grace. Pick it up. <laughs> mm. So I learned to be tough. So when people insult me, I'll be like, you got to come better than that. My cousin. My husband just told me he don't know what I I sound like. Like, Wow. I didn't know that. So yeah, it's pretty tough around the Campbell house. But I like it. I appreciate it. And I'm the same way with my kids. Like if Krista has to sing and she's crying, I was like, well, don't sing then. By the way, quiet is kept. Krista on her way. Krista's I know on she her right way. there, but I would say it if she wasn't. <laughs> Come but on. I've been seeing the clips. Oh, she was at the Lakers game or the yeah. Sparks game. Yes. They was out there. She, they were listening. Came with, this is your girl Krista, you don't say. <laughs> New mixtape on the way. <laughs> <laughs> so is there being a daughter uh, uh uh there's a couple of questions. Okay. Well, being the parent of a daughter who can sing. Yes. Are you more excited or more protective knowing what you've went through in the industry? Both, but I'm preparing. Mm. It's like boot camp. So I tell her, people will not like you. They'll compare you to you. I don't want to be compared to you. You are. Get over it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We have a level that we've established. Right. You are there too. Yeah. But what if I don't mean it? And what? You will. You yeah. are going to because we're going to make you. We're not going to put you out there bad. You're not going to have a whack song. <laughs> the music going to be tight. Mm. So now, now you'll you be Warren and you with oh, her in the studio. Her. All day. Different All day. run, Krista. Now. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. I'm, I'm more of a cheerleader. I'm definitely yeah, yeah, an yeah. encourager cheerleader. Wow. Have Somebody you, asked, oh, go ahead. I was going to say, have you ever um, held back an uh, an opinion on something for concern of backlash? Yes. Uh. Yes. How, uh, how often? What was it? Got very, very often. Very often. <laughs> you you know, the that. Bible says something's are lawful means legal. You can talk about it, but not expedient, not appropriate, mm. not the right time. Mm. You know, so if there's something going on and it's a, a, a friend of mine, I'm not going to, I may call them and yeah. maybe I'll talk about it in an overarching kind of way, right. you know, because I, you know, I know I've, been the com- the topic of conversation. I'm like, man, just go easy on me. I remember when the Mary Mary show was on, and yeah. I know Kev had I'm the sorry. I'm sorry. He would be tearing us up. I'd be like, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> you know, it's a lot harder when you meet the people, though. Yeah. When I was younger and didn't know anybody, I'm like, gloves are off. Yeah. And now when you meet them and they're nice, it's just You're like, like oh, but I cannot. Man. He's my friend. Yeah. I cannot say. She's I cannot my say. <laughs> yeah. I cannot say. It's a lot harder. And then the the other thing is, like, the internet's the internet. Yes. If they don't know you, it they don't jungle. care. They're they don't gonna, care. They don't, they will destroy you. Absolutely. But you, but your friends like, bro, come on, right. man. It's your boy. That's what's hard. Like when yeah. I see some of the, like we all going to be at the Stellars together. You just right. rip sister shred. Yeah. Like, but what, are you going to take a picture with her? You're going to get a selfie? <laughs> no, like, you going to square up. Did you, right, you going to square up? Did you call and beef? ask? You ever see somebody backstage like, cuz, if I see cuz, it's on site. There is. She doesn't uh, want to say. Well, okay, without saying names, <laughs> tell us the story. There was a play. Oh yes. 
and uh, <laughs> there was a, a gospel artist and a, and a judge, and um, they didn't get along. And uh, I don't know if it went to fisticuffs, but it was definitely you stay over there, you stay over there. Back in the day, it used to be like that. Kirk, oh, but so Kirk that Franklin told me that. He said, like, you guys all being friends, like you and Tasha and Ty being in the room laughing yeah. it up. He was like, it wasn't like that back in the day. Really? He said the Winans would be in their space. The Hawkins over here. It's Hawkins over here, yeah. cuz. He was like, they wasn't. Wine is Detroit. They wasn't like fraternizing. It wasn't really? like that. I was like, really? I wonder why. He was like, I don't know. He was like, so this is beautiful. It was like me, him, and like Tamala and a bunch of people in the room. Yeah, we were, you yeah, know, yeah. Laughing and talking and encouraging, encouraging each other. And um, But yeah, every now and again, there's a, there's a. That's gossip hole. <laughs> gossip hole, yeah. But you know, we try to minimize. Like, I'm a person that if I feel something, I'm going to call you. Yeah, I'm not yeah. going to talk. If I have a problem with you, I'm not going to talk to you about it. I'm going right, to go straight right. to the person. Or make yeah. a video on Instagram about I'm it. I'm not going to ever do that. I don't <laughs> sub post. I don't. <laughs> Right, right. I don't do that. Some people <laughs> put their music out. Like, I'm never. I'm never. I don't. Yeah. Here's a question I thought was interesting. Do you yes. ever miss not being famous? I, I, famous doesn't bother me. Hmm. I go to the grocery store. I shop at the 99 cent store. Really? Yes. I love the 99 cent store. Krista's shaking her head. Do you I can still? spend time in there. Yes. I love CBS, ever? Walmart. Sometimes I fly coach. What? Yeah, if I'm if it's on my budget and I don't want to pay nine hundred dollars for a flight, I'ma pay three hundred and fly coach. Did you pull your hat down a little lower? No, like? I'm in coach, saving money like you. Hmm. That's real. I don't care. Yeah, I was in my BMW driving up to the ninety nine cent store. This lady <laughs> rolled her eyes so hard. <laughs> they have my favorite chips there, and they're a little less than they are in the grocery store. That's so funny. I'm Somebody trying. hit Warren was like, "Won't you buy your wife a real house?" Because you know we live in L.A. Yeah. So uh, an expensive home in L.A. is different from an expensive home yes. in Atlanta, or yeah. you know what I mean, somewhere else. Like yeah. you could have acres upon acres yes. for a million dollar home. A million dollar home in L.A. is different. Yes. Studio. You know, so <laughs> it's a half a million dollar home, and I guarantee you, like I don't own it. Just so y'all know, it, I'm renting. I'm renting. It. But it's, it's but you not, shall own it. I right. declare. I'm a need it, Abel. <laughs> I own my house in Washington, so don't trip. <laughs> but what I, the point I, I was it. making is a half a million dollar home here, here in, is, LA, in Atlanta, totally different story. That's why people come to LA and they're like, yeah, I'm going mm. back home. They'd be sad. Absolutely. Uh, did you did you have a, I can move into LA. Great. Do you have a savings? No, just God told me to move. Man. Where do you work? God told me to move. Where are you staying? <laughs> Listen, God is telling you to go back home. <laughs> yeah. There was a girl who called me. I said, honey, get a job. Yes. Have some money. Yes. Save up. Know where you're going to live. Come do your research. Find out what area you want to live in. North Hollywood. Start North, there. Listen, start North Hollywood. Go Maybe Van Nuys even. Yes. You know, that's where, when I moved from, like, at the Inglewood, L.A. area, mm -hmm. I moved to to Van Nuys. Hmm. Yeah. Me and Tina had a two-bedroom for seven thirty-five with utilities paid. I know that's where you can find it. at this time? I was a gospel singer. <sighs> The rent is the rent. The rent <laughs> is the rent. That is interesting because I flew first class from New York to LA and I was like, I don't know how I'm going back to coach with them. Oh. Those peasants. Oh. <laughs> nah, it's so much nicer I mean, up there. If I'm sleeping all the way, listen. Wow. Uh, but that's, that's what... also how you keep your money. Absolutely. For trying to prove something to someone I don't. that's non existent doesn't make sense. I don't. I don't care what you think. I'm going to wear my clothes again. <laughs> you will see things multiple times. I feel no pressure about it at all. Mm -mm. I'm going to wear my clothes again. Yes. The maintenance of being an artist in the public can be crazy. Yes. Oh, you wore that wig on the last performance and I'm wearing it again. You know how much I pay for this thing? Like, I was not mad at Tiffany Haddish for wearing that $4,000 dress. That thing's expensive. Right. Now, you can't wear it a fourth time, Tiff. Yeah. Like, three, I think we had our limit. <laughs> what inspired the radio show? I had always loved radio. Me right. and Tina did a lot. Like, when uh, we started with Columbia, they... I felt like our career was built off of radio. So we hmm. went to every radio station in the country. We had a stack of papers like this. And all we had to do was, you're listening to uh, 105.7. Like, you're listening to. Like, so we did that yeah. over and over and over. Drops so and drops and drops and drops. And, drops and, yeah. drops. and then you meet different people and you experience the difference between different, you know, radio hosts and um, stuff like that. And so uh, we would go places and people were like, you guys are good because we're funny and we're quick and, yeah. and you know, we talk yeah. over each other. We complete each other's sentences. Mm -hmm. And um, we, I wanted to do it. So I had been pushing Tina for years. Let's do radio. Let's do radio. Oh, we don't have time. It's too much. And and so she kept saying that year after year. 
And um, I eventually said, okay, I'm going to try it myself. I tried it myself, still didn't work. Mm -hmm. Then I get a random call about this meeting in D.C. with all these gospel artists about the state of gospel radio because they said people are, you know, the the viewership is changing. What can we Mm. do? So I go and I have Mm -hmm. this amazing uh, conversation with all these artists. And the next day, Miss Kathy Hughes called and said, would you like to do... Kathy personally called you? Yeah, would you like to do a syndicated radio show? And I was like, well, I live in LA. You guys are in DC. I don't know how it would happen. So I'm not sure. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Warren said, who was that? I said, Kathy Hughes. And she asked me to do radio. I told him, blah, blah, blah. He was like, call her back. (laughs) Are you kidding me? (laughs) And so I called her back and we worked it out. I started being in Dallas. My studio is in Dallas. So I fly there. Periodically with my do team. You, tra- you be traveling. I do. I mean, I do. how? Erica I don't Campbell, know. How? I don't. I, it's a pleasure. Like somebody calls you to another mm. state to sing with thousands mm. of people. How can you be mad at that? That's true. I you mean, know? But you. It's before I traveled a lot. I was like, oh, airports are so fun. Oh, when you uh, fly ugh. four or five times a week. TSA oh. and the lines and the wait and it's delayed and it's and the, the more mean travel, agents the more and the baggage claim oh and your bags God. don't come and, and coach. And, and <laughs> <laughs> one time. <laughs> I want to oh go back to the radio thing. Uh, yes. You mentioned going to radio stations and, you know, you're you're interacting with DJs. Yes. So as I'm wondering if you ever got this uh, as a singer. As comics, we get where the DJ is like, is like, oh, you know, like in their head, they're like, okay, these are comics, so I'm going to show them how funny I can be. Did you ever get that with, like, somebody be like, oh, you know, well, I do a little singing on my own. You know, right? <laughs> A lot of them, especially in the in the in gospel radio, a lot of them are singers. A lot of them oh, are okay. artists. So they'll give you a little shade, like. <laughs> yeah. So I love the little record. You know, they use they just oh, a little. Yeah. Oh yeah! Oh wow! So you know, and you just have to rise above. I remember um, one person in particular. I won't say names. Um, uh, we went, and so they were saying one Mary was the Virgin Mary, and the other was a. And I was like, Oh mm. my god! And so that was the break. When he came back, he was like, So which Mary are you? I was like, oh, Yo. snap. We we got to score. You got to see me. No, nah, we, we finished it. I said, I, we just laughed it off. You know, it was oh. like, oh, it represents, you know, that you don't have to be perfect, that God loves us all, that so, there's some people perfect and imperfect, and we all, you know, can be changed by the love of Jesus. Yeah. Uh, but at the end, I definitely said, I absolutely caught what you're saying, and I will never be on your show again. Mm. Oh, no, no, no. I was no, just playing. No, no, no. I ain't. Yeah. I mean, we cool now. You know, it's fine now. And they do, they do do those little, com- like you said, like, Smile. oh, the little album you got, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know, I had a, a friend of mine, we sang, <laughs> it was during the Stellars, it was at a luncheon, um, and me and Tina sang Can't Give Up Now. And we came off stage, and he was like, I mean, we knew Tina could sing, but I was like, wow. <laughs> I said, I don't, do I say thank you to that? I don't know. I don't. (laughs) People have said some crazy stuff to me. Like, I want a picture of Mary Mary. And Tina's busy. And I was like, oh, I'll take a picture. No, not you. Oh. (laughs) Really? Yes. Not you? you, Yeah. No, not you. So. Oh, man. How do you remain calm during that? Because I. Some people going to like you and some people won't. Wow. I'm, 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 I know I can sing for sure. I know I'm yes. talented. I know I didn't get Absolutely. here because the people had to give their opinion to tell Colin, hey, should we sign them or not? That's true. You know, so. That's mm. true. I know I'm where I'm supposed to be. Here's an interesting question. Maybe you can answer it in two parts. What's the biggest conception about you and about gospel singers? I think a, a lot of the misconception about gospel singers is that we have it all together. Mm. Well, maybe not so much these days. Um, <laughs> it's been rough in these streets. It's been the last rough in these gospel streets. The internet be, be, be woo, like, woo, y'all. Hey. Hello. Right. <laughs> wow. see, right. You see way more gospel oh, singers man. than you was these days. But um, I think that people assume that um, it is easier because I work for Jesus. I can somehow bypass the normal mm-hmm. pains and the things that you have to go through yeah. in life. If anything, it makes it harder because... Sometimes I don't want to sing Can't Give Up Now. Right. You know, sometimes right. I'm singing a little more Jesus and I'm going, please, I need more of you today because I don't feel like it. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You know, I'd be like, can I get a regular job? Can I work at the post office or something? God, <laughs> I'll do Walmart, man. This is for the birds. <laughs> right. you're, you also, you're also held at a different standard. You are. You yes. know, so how much is given, much is required. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like if you're With an R&B power singer, comes you know. Responsibility. Say again? Absolutely. Great power comes great responsibility. Yes. Which scripture you know, is that? Oh, okay. I know. Uncle Did he just... 
It's still a good quote. It is a good quote. I just I, and and greatness requires sacrifice. Yeah. So I know I've been blessed with with influence, and I know people pay attention to who I am, and that's a you know it's an honor and a yeah. privilege. You know, so I just I take it on the chin. Like hmm. you that's can't amazing. be you can't be well. Some people it used to be that way. You'd be famous in private, but I don't know. Yes. I don't know so much. No, you mm. you are pretty much the same. But I got. I mean, time. there's a lot that people don't know. There's a lot. Yeah. You know, people don't see everything. There's so many moments where my phone is in my purse and I never pick it up. You know what I mean? Yeah. People are not out front of my door. You mm -hmm. know, not, there was that one time that someone did knock on the door, but <laughs> and once somebody rode down the street. This is the house for Mary Mary. Look. Oh my gosh. So, you know, but I, you know, I'm covered. Right. Plus, right. I have, plus my neighborhood has security. And, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor Dev is also strapped, question. amen. Be <laughs> I keep that Hallelujah. thing on me and I ain't talking about the Bible. You feel me? Yeah. Pow, pow. You hear. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do you listen to, do you ever listen to secular music? Um, I do sometimes. Really? Who's yeah. your favorite? I don't know that I have a favorite. Mm -hmm. um, well, you listen to I'm in Love with the Coco. And, no, by accident. Oh. I didn't buy it. Oh, okay. I didn't, I didn't go searching for it. it. Searched all over. It came up, <laughs> and I was like, "What? This is a thing!" And I looked yeah, at all yeah. the views. I was like, "Man, what is happening?" Yeah. I mean, you know, if you have relatives that were on mm -hmm. crack, mm -hmm. this ain't funny. Nope. You know, if you lived in a neighborhood that was devastated by it, this yeah. ain't fresh. Right. You right. know what I mean? My my neighborhood wasn't full of the drug full of the drug dealers. It right. was full of the crackheads. The so yeah. I was like. Uh, this ain't. This is not awesome. Right. You know. This is not awesome. This is not an option. You know, I'm getting out of school. What do I think I might? You know, going to drug. Right. Oh, street pharmacy. Right. Sorry, the sicker, <laughs> street pharmacy. Do you have any more, Jason? No, no, sir. I don't have any more either. Oh, actually, I do have one more. How do you stay relevant? I don't know that I'm attempting to stay relevant. Mm. I, I think mm. I'm just kind of existing. I'm generally cool, like in, mm -hmm. in my life. I feel about myself. You're cool. No. So I, I don't, you I know. Um, I'm just I'm aware of the world around me and right. how, you know. Um, I think God is creative. If you look at creation, I mm -hmm. think making stars and animals and he was out here. That was I think it was a, a sight to see. I think stars it was, a was a step back three for God. He was like, wow, <laughs> man. Uh, heaven, did you see that? Three. Yeah, <laughs> heaven, <laughs> right? Come on, oceans, hills, <laughs> yes. canyons. Like, That's why I like people talk about, and I, you know, people believe what they believe, but the like Big Bang, I don't think the Big Bang gives you the Grand Canyon sunset. Like no. sometimes I see the sunrise and I'd be like, God, you was, you was on right. your A game today. Right. You know what I mean? And I just feel like science couldn't have created something as beautiful, beautiful. as that. You yeah. know what I mean? Like it has to be intentional. I don't think it was, exactly. I don't think the beauty of flowers or 33, I think it's 3,300 different birds. I don't yeah. think that was an accident. I Black think women. Black, listen. When I saw my wife, I was like, God, you, you are on your game. <laughs> I say the same thing. <laughs> oh, Jay loves black women. <laughs> really? Loves. I got love. a few for you. Oh, I'm having oh, a singles okay. event. We should invite you. Right. Invite him. He loves the blacks. <laughs> the, the blacks! <laughs> Yeah, he does. He does. He does. Like he does. exclusively days black. Well, that's not even a not joke. exclusively. Jay, uh, don't you lie here open. because Erica Campbell's it. No, uh, hey, no white girl, stop. Gross. <laughs> no, that is uh, hilarious. No, it's, it's the white girls that I'm interested in. Only date black dudes. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're you're yeah. black. Yeah, yeah. Well, blackish. I mean, you know, blackish. Yeah, blackish. Very black light skinned. <laughs> light skinned black. He uses cocoa butter though, for real. Really? Palmer's exclusively. The, butter, the only black people, we are the only one use the butters. Yes. He yes. be using it. Uh, we're just about done. Before we let you go, yes. you can tell the people where they, well, I'm sure they can know where to find you, but somebody might be new. Yes. Uh, where they can find you and what new you have coming out and working oh. on that they could they could uh, now know about. Let's see. Um, you can always follow me at I'm Erica Campbell on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Um, you can come visit my church, California Worship Center. County you Worship might not Death. see Kev there because he's busy touring. Um, I do have new music coming <laughs> out, so just keep your ears peeled for that. Um, we're working on making sure that uh, Where the Campbells comes back. Oh, somebody mm. asked um, that. that. I fun. forgot that. That Second season of that coming, yes. Yeah. Um, my book. I'm working on my book. Are you? Yes. What's the book about? Uh, Christianity and Sexuality. Really? Owning who you are. <laughs> we should have you on the podcast. Absolutely. The Love Hour podcast. I would love it. We're trying to take the stigma out of sex. Yeah, I don't think you will. No, we we don't, but we're gonna try. We open sex toys on our Instagram. We yeah, we're going hard. You can't do that. You're gonna this try to put the nitty in Christianity. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yes! Oh, God! Oh, but God. I, that is so, yeah. so... Because my wife listened to a lot of... Um, a lot of white pastors and podcasts, they talk about sex all the time. So much more freely than we do. But in then the there's a sect of of the the evangelicals that don't talk about it at all, all the time. Mm. At yeah, all. Yeah, yeah. Like, and they tell the wives, just, just go ahead and do it for your husband and you know, it'll be over soon. I'll be like, Oh, oh poor thing. <laughs> So sad for you. No. Yeah. No. So It'll yeah. It'll be over soon. Open, <laughs> open dialogue. Um, be over uh, you know, soon. helping you know young people understand identity. You mm-hmm. know, I think we put too much on identity. Identity in Christ. Right. You right. You know, not your, just your sexual identity. Yeah. You're so much more than that. Absolutely. You know. So just a lot of different things. I'm, I'm excited about. And radio show. And the radio show. Get up mornings with Erica Campbell. If I'm not in your area, you can uh, listen on the app. Get up Erica or. Um, go to the website and listen live in the mornings. This has been amazing. This has been Ask Us Gospel Singer with Erica Campbell. He's Big Irish J. I'm Kevin on stage. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.